okay, Melvin, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Remember to smile. Have you been practicing your laugh? You know, the, the spontaneous laugh. Let's hear it. Oh, no, honey. No, you, you still sound like a wounded dog. Okay, just while we're at the party, you have to promise me not to do that. Okay? Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Look, it, our whole social future only depends on it. That's all. Nothing to get worried about. Now, you do want to fit in, don't you? You want to be part of the, the in crowd? I'm sure you do. Yeah. It's going to be hard, though. Um, it, there's Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I would not go around telling everyone your name. I mean, you know, Melvin just doesn't really ring with everything, you know. I'm still kind of mad at your parents for it. I mean, oh, it was your grandfather's name. Oh, so they had to pass on the agony. Wow. Well... Uh, no, you're not entirely ready. There are a few things we need to go over first. Remember, I told you you can have a little crash course in in the interactions for this party. I think it's very important. Now, come here. I'm going to give you... An, uh, it's, it's nothing. No, don't even worry about it. Look, it's tiny. Look, it's not even anything. It's just that when you get nervous, you get a little shiny. And it's okay. Lots of people do. It's but well, I can't have you looking like a glistening pig all night. So that's all this is for. See, it's just tiny. It's little. It's it's like nothing. It's nothing. Let's put some extra right there. A little bit of extra nothing on your nose. Oh my gosh. <sighs> This is a very important night, but don't worry. It's going to be okay. Do you have your mask? Let me see. Put it on. Okay. All right. That That's a good fit. That's, that's nice and wide. Covers most of the area it's supposed to cover, I guess. Um, all right. I do have mine. You see? I'm very happy with mine. See? Look at this. It has... Look, it has little rhinestones right there. Kind of goes with my necklace, I think. So that I can just hold it like this. Have you ever been to a, um, a Mardi Gras party? Or a costume party of any sort? Mm, you're going to love it. It's going to be fabulous. There are just a few little things you need to know about some of the other people who are going to be there. And it's very important that you don't mix these people up. Because we have different relationships with each person. And I thought you might ask that. So, see, I've done my homework. If Part of being a good um, social climber is that you have to do your homework when it comes to the other attendees of parties. And I've definitely done that. Now, Melvin, I need you to listen. Now, I have made some notes that we are going to discreetly tuck away in your pocket. But don't let anyone see you looking at them. You don't ever want them to see that you have notes because that, that kind of blows the whole thing. But to see, the problem is you have this memory issue and like I try to I try to give you this information and then you just give me that blank stare kind of like you're doing right now. It's almost like you're not even invested in this event. It's almost like you don't care about me. I mean, oh, I'm sure you do. I'm sure, but... You know, I'm just not feeling it. Oh, don't do the spontaneous laugh now, please. It's not helping the situation at all. Can you can you pay attention for a minute? Can you just listen? I have done my homework. Yes, I have. Um, I have a good friend who works at the local costume shop who happens to know a lot of the ladies who are going to be here tonight. Yeah, and, and they, they gave me the 411 on what everybody's wearing, mask-wise. Now, for this party, it's mainly just masks. Of course, you can wear a dress to coordinate with your mask, as I did. I went with a plain black fabulous dress to go with my black fabulous mask. See how easy that is? Now, I should be able, you should have no trouble picking me out. Of course, I'm going to have the shiniest hair there. I'm definitely going to beat Penelope this year for shiniest hair. Look, isn't it beautiful? 
I love it. It's yes, of course it's my natural color. Okay, rule number one, do not ask that of any woman at this party. Okay. They will try to snatch your wig off if you ask that. You are not allowed to ask if that is their real hair or if that is their real color. Okay, just don't even. Just tell them it looks beautiful. Just stick with that. I think you'll be okay. All right. Oh, it's, um, I just, I, well, I know how you are. And I remember how you were at the last mixer. You know, that was just an introductory thing to try to get you used to socializing with people. I mean, the way you act, you would think you were raised out in the woods by wolves or something. So this is going to go a lot better, right? Yeah. Well, that's why I wanted to find out about the other people who are going to be there. So we could find out what they're, what they're wearing. And you will know by their masks who they are and how we feel about them. Because that's the most important thing. Do we like them or not? That's the main thing you need to know. Okay, and don't ask about anyone's significant other, uh, you know, just don't even bring it up. Like, if they bring it up, that's fine, but do not ask. Okay, just just don't. There are some um, interwoven intri intricacies here that we need to keep in mind. Now, there are seven key people who are going to be at this party that you need to know about. All right? And I have copies of their masks. Look at this, Melvin. Look at this right here. You see what I'm holding here? You know what this is? Yeah, that's a hairnet. Don't worry about that. That's that's uh, extra credit. Do you know what these are? This is our future Melvin right here. I'm holding our future in my manicured hands. Do you see this? Don't touch them. Don't oh, get your little sausage fingers away. Don't touch them. Okay, that's that's actually rule number two. Don't touch anybody. Okay, just. Just don't. Just, you know, keep your little hands to yourself there. Don't touch me either. You know, no offense, but I'm, I'm, I'm well made up and I don't need to be ruffled. All right. <laughs> okay. Now, we have seven masks here. All right. I'm going to tell you some things about these masks and you need to pay close attention. Okay. Are you listening? You need to keep listening. Do you need to sit down? Do you need a break? Do you, I'm not giving you any more snacks, okay? You need to floss before we go, okay? All I'm saying is, I don't know when you last had spinach. I, I don't recall any time in recent memory, and you have it in your teeth, so please address that. You cannot be walking around with stuff in your teeth. Just, uh, it's like you want to embarrass me. It's like you're trying to get me to break up with you, Melvin. What's, what's your damage? No, I'm not trying to start anything. I'm, not try I'm trying to help. You know, I'm only trying to help. Now, I have these masks numbered. And I want you to store these in a discreet place at the party. So what I've done. No, no, no. You don't have to find a place I already have. Okay, I went to Claire's house ahead of time. And I have found a little bamboo treasure chest. It's in the third guest room to the left. There's going to be a little hallway that you go down, and there's their are guest rooms. The third one on the left, there's a little bamboo chest in there at the foot of the bed. Now, in that chest, I'm going to secrete these masks. We're just going to stick them down in there when no one is looking. I can distract them with my beautiful hair while you just meander down the hall and, you know, have these under your jacket or something, you know, just kind of... Well, you're kind of bulbous anyway, so nobody's going to pay any attention to extra stuff in this general vicinity here. So you could just stick them here, like right under your jacket, and you're just going to walk down the hall nice and casual. No whistling. Uh, don't whistle tonight, okay? No whistling. No one likes that. Don't, don't, no one wants to hear your jokes either. Okay, well, most of these people were born without a sense of humor, so they're not going to get it anyway. Yeah, they're just going to look at you and just, who has she brought to this party? Oh my God, and you will really embarrass me. And I know you do not want to embarrass me. You don't, do you? I need to hear you say it, Melvin. I don't want to embarrass you. That's right. You don't. That's right. I, it's all fun. This is all going to be lots of fun. That's right. We're going to have a good time. Okay. I'm going to show you where the numbers are, just in case you need a little help. Along with these masks, you're going to have some notes, okay? 
I'm going to show you on the first one here. Here's the first mask. It's going to look like this. It's purple, as you can see. It has a coordinated little purple flower here. And it's going to be tied in the back with this purple ribbon. Okay? So, it's just going to look like this. See? Just like that. This is Sylvia. No, no. Sylvia. And she's going to be flouncing around in this mask. Now, Sylvia, let me tell you about her. She loves her spray tan, okay? So when you go to shake her hand, it will probably be very slippery. It'll feel oily because she uses way too much and she doesn't follow the directions. And it just, it, her skin looks just, it's all, it looks like marble, but brown. It's very nasty. She, and, and the bad thing too, Sylvia loves to touch everybody. Like she's, she'll just come up and, hey, and she'll just touch you like on your shoulders and just, Oh, uh, you know, I don't know why. And maybe she wasn't hugged enough as a kid or something. Okay, now we do like Sylvia. Okay? We do. She's going to look like this. We do like Sylvia. Sylvia's cool. But we only like her because she knows when all the good sales are coming up at Nordstrom. And I need that hookup. Okay, you will also know that it's Sylvia because she wears so much spray tan. Like, it'll get on her mask, I guarantee it, because she cakes it on her face instead of makeup. It's really, really bizarre. Um, but we do like her, so do not tell her any jokes. Don't touch her. You know, just, just basically don't do anything. Okay, you just stand there and smile, but not that big, weird school picture smile that you do. Like that, that's good. Just kind of you know, and nod. She'll think you're a good listener. Yeah, she'll talk your ear off, but you know, whatever. But she will have on so much of that spray tan, that fake tan stuff, that it will get all over her mask. You know, it just basically, it just covers everything she wears. It doesn't matter if it's a mask or, you know, her clothes. It gets on her jewelry even. It's she's kind of like, um, that character from, um, Charlie Brown from Peanuts, Pig Pen, you know, where like the dirt follows them everywhere. She's like that, but with spray tan. And it's year round, so you don't even get a break from it in the winter time. We all talk about it, but you're not allowed to. Okay? So this is Sylvia. All right, now let me show you. It's going to be very small. But right up here in this upper right hand corner, right here, is a number one that I wrote in green metallic. Okay? Number one is Sylvia. That's Sylvia. And she's going to be in the purple lace mask like this. All right. This, is this helping you at all? Are you retaining any of this? Because we have six more to do and you're sweating and it's really starting to bum me out. Are you going to be ready for this thing? Well, we have to leave. We have to be out of here in two hours. So don't mess up your stuff there. Stop sweating. Don't worry about it, Melman. Now we'll show you the next one. You ready for this one? All right, now this one is very similar, so don't get them confused, okay? Now, who is this? Not Sybil. Sylvia. Do not call her Sybil, because she's literally kind of Sybil, and she will go all Sybil on you if you do. Call her Sylvia. Or just don't say her name at all if you have to, if you have to, um, go that route. Just, you know, just set, you know, just smile and nod. You know, whenever you're, you're confused or you're not sure what to do, just smile and nod. You know, maybe at worst they'll think you're one of the waiters or something. All right now, this mask, yes, it is very similar. The only difference is it's pink. Um, there's a reason for that. This is Victoria's mask. Um, now you can call her Tori. She likes that, but do not call her Vicky. Okay, she will go ballistic if you call her Vicky. I don't really like the nickname Tori, but you know, she kind of likes it. She thinks it's cute. Now, Tori copies everything Sylvia does. I mean, literally everything. Like, if Sylvia gets her hair done a different way, Victoria will go do it to hers. You know, if she gets divorced, Victoria gets divorced. It's like it's. You know, I don't understand it. It's crazy, but she has this obsession with Sylvia. 
So that's why her mask is uh, similar, I guarantee you. She went to the costume shop after Sylvia. Like, she probably stalked her and followed her there and then went in and said, what kind of mask did she pick? And then she picked one that was almost identical. She didn't want one that was exactly the same because that's, you know, that's tacky and you don't want to do that. But she picked one that was just different enough to pass. Now this is going to be number two. See it has a little, a tiny little two up there in the corner. This is Victoria or Tori, but do not call her Vicky because she hates that. Um, okay. Now, well, there's one more thing about Victoria. Okay, she sells Scentsy products and she's really aggressive about it. Now I don't know that she will approach you unless she thinks you might buy some stuff for me, which please don't because I don't need any more. All right. I already have tons of it. I don't want any more. Um, so when you get near Victoria, don't look her in the eye too long. So if you see her, you know, and she's starting to pull you in with her tractor beam, don't fall for it. You know, it's like, don't look into the light, like from Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know, don't look at it or, it, you know, terrible things will happen to you. Don't do it because you'll end up with $500 worth of stuff you don't need. Okay. Just, just turn and, uh, you know, divert your attention elsewhere. We don't really like Victoria mainly because of the Scentsy thing. And also it's just so sad that she copies Sylvia all the time. And we all just kind of feel sorry for her. Like that's the only reason we invite her is because it's just, we just feel sorry for her because she's just so sad like oh my god like she has no identity at all she has to be just like everybody else that's a shame personally I think she picked the wrong person to imitate but whatever we also don't like her because she always smells like fabric softener and it's a big turn off so you'll notice you get within five feet of her and she's like a bottle of snuggle it's it's uh it's very very unfortunate so who is this again do not call her that oh my god I should have never told you about that name if you call her Vicky, we will get kicked out of this party because she will end up probably busting your nose or something. And then I know how your reflexes are. You'll end up hitting her and it'll be this whole big thing. I don't want a repeat of the incident with the bar stool. Okay. That was a close call. We almost got, you almost got kicked out. You almost got us kicked out of the mixer and you don't even remember because you passed out. So you were lucky. I didn't pass out, so I, I was the one who had to literally drag you home. So, Melvin, I cannot stress enough how important this is. Okay, you need to be on your best behavior. Just don't do anything. I think basically if you just don't do anything, you'll be okay. This is Victoria or Tori, not Vicky. Don't even think about the name Vicky. Just put the name Vicky out of your mind. I'm making it worse. You know, it's funny how you like to lay blame. It's funny how nothing is ever your fault. Okay, focus. So who's this? Sylvia? Who's this? Victoria or Tori. Okay, awesome. You're doing fine, I guess. I just wonder if you're going to remember this two hours from now. You ready for number three? All right. Look at this. Look at this beauty. It is quite nice, isn't it? Now this is, hmm? no, it's, honey, no, it's not real metal. It's, it's fabric. All this, touch it. It's all fabric. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Now, can I talk? Do you mind if I, do you mind if I finish what I was going to say? Do you have to keep interrupting me constantly? No. We are not stopping to get food on the way there. Are you serious? Look, they'll probably have some little snacks or something. Why are you always wanting to eat? Why are you always eating? Stop that. We're never going to get anywhere like that. The sooner you learn to just not eat, the better off you'll be. Just don't eat and don't do anything. And that's the key to success. Why do you not see that? That's how you succeed. And we're never going to get there if you keep eating everywhere. God, it's better if you don't eat around people anyway. I mean, have you seen yourself eat? Mm, I feel like I'm on a farm. Can I finish? Can I, can I go on now? Are we done? Okay. This is Bianca's mask. Bianca. Not Bianca. Bianca. She's not a breath freshener. Bianca. Do you remember her? She was the bubbly one. 
I said she liked your toupee. Yeah, even though you don't wear one. Thank you for not saying anything about that. Yeah, she didn't mean anything by it. Now, Bianca loves masks because basically she wears one all the time anyway because she's... She, I'm trying to say she's two-faced. I mean, she she is whatever she needs to be at the moment to get whatever she wants, which is so shallow. I'm so glad I'm not like that. Like, I'm authentic at least. Bianca loves to stab people in the back. Okay, anything she can get from you, she's going to use against you. So you got to look out for that. Um, no, no, I... Don't try to guess whether we like these people or not. Okay, just don't. No, we do like Bianca. We do. Because Bianca, no matter how two-faced she is, she is phenomenal at destroying her enemies. All right? And I have way too many skeletons in my closet to not like Bianca. We like Bianca a lot. Okay? If Bianca wants a drink, you could get it for her. If she wants you to go, you know, go home and feed her cats. You go, you're going to do it. Okay. You do anything Bianca wants. I don't care what it is. We want to keep Bianca happy. <laughs> okay. Just, um, you know, don't start telling stories about your childhood or anything embarrassing because she stores all that away. And then if she ever needs to blackmail me, she will mention you and she will give me this whole list of things that she knows about you. I don't even know how she finds this stuff out. I mean, she's like, a super sleuth. So, Bianca. That's, it is it's very pretty. It's a very nice mask. I do like it. And we do like Bianca. Okay. And on the back here, you're going to see a tiny three on the back side of this mask. It is very nice. I do like it. Okay, that is Bianca. Um, yeah, she is kind of short, actually. Yeah. All the better to snoop around and get information because she's so tiny. It's like nobody even knows she's there. You have to watch her. Okay. There's one other thing about Bianca I need I need you to know. Um, not only do we need her to like us because she has a way of destroying people, she's also dating my plastic surgeon, which, as you know, we really need to keep happy. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have a... I have a frequent customer card there. Uh, I'm due for a free procedure coming up soon, which is good, and we need to keep him on our good side. We need to stay on his good side and keep him happy. So to keep him happy, we need to keep Bianca happy. All right? Excellent. Now we move on to number four. Number four is a quite, uh, it's a striking mask. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. This is just it's just plastic, actually. It's not even covered with anything except up here. And then it has these silver beads like this. And then the pretty little red flower. That's number four, sweetheart. Melvin, pay attention. Four. How did you, how did you get L? We're not even doing letters. What? I don't know about you. Okay, well, Francesca is also dating my plastic surgeon. Okay, so... You, of course, you know you're not going to bring that up. Well, I say, of course. See, I shouldn't make assumptions. Do not mention Bianca around Francesca. Okay, they hate each other. In fact, if you happen to see them getting near each other, you would be like a hero if you were able to divert one of them. You want to keep space between them and the party. Okay, which I don't think is going to be a huge problem. Um, but if you see this mask... And this mask anywhere near each other um, don't make a scene or anything but like if you could just do something to get one of them away that would be awesome you you uh, well don't don't shout because see sometimes when you shout you have this shriek that sounds like a well you sound a little bit like a seagull and it's kind of unnerving so you don't have to say anything just be swift and silent like a barn owl. I think that would be wonderful. You kind of have a face like a barn owl now that I think about it. It's kind of scooped in like a satellite dish. I never noticed that before. <laughs> okay, so the other thing about Francesca that irritates me, at least, I don't, I can't speak for everybody, but she's always trying a new diet. I mean, like every time I see her, she's trying a new diet. Now you cannot have this face when you're at this party, okay? This is not my party face. Can I see your party face? 
So, you know, you just look like you have to go to the bathroom. That's not going to work. No, like this. <laughs> Don't show your teeth, though, till we get some floss up in there. <laughs> so you just want to scoop around and gyrate a little bit, you know. Look active and bouncy and vibrant and alive. That's what you do. <laughs> That's what I do. You just stand there and admire, okay? That's basically your job. Just don't do anything but admire. So Francesca is always trying a new diet, and she will be more than happy to tell you all about it. And in the process, she will then tell you what you are doing wrong, whether, whether, whether you're eating the wrong things, you're drinking the wrong things, or you're, you're eating and drinking at the wrong time of day, or it has this in it and that, and that's why you're not skinny and like, oh my God. She, she becomes an instant expert on every diet she's trying and, you know, she's like a born again, whatever it is, you know, um, no, we do not like her to see that's where you get into the subtleties of this. Why, so I, that's why I said, don't try to guess. Do we like these people or not? We don't like Francesca. Okay. Francesca sucks. We don't like her. He's about to break up with her anyway. So it doesn't matter that she's dating him. Oh, I know these things. I know these things. I heard he's actually thinking about getting back, you know, with his wife, but I don't know. He's got to dump several people before he does that. So this face right here. Yeah, we don't like her. Of course, you can always talk to her and, and be polite. There's nothing wrong with being polite. Yeah, but she will, she will insist upon telling you about her new diet and there is no telling what it is. Usually it goes along with an exercise regimen. She, um, she tries all these new, um, workouts and exercise facilities and programs, and she will talk and talk and talk about it. She's good filler. Like if you find yourself with no one to talk to, I guess look for her because she always has something to say, although it will be a bit judgy and preachy. Um, if you can tolerate it, I guess it's worth it, you know, just so you have something to do. I mean, so, you know, we don't want you to stand there alone. I mean, that, you, you, you cannot cling to me all night, Melvin. That's not going to work. <clears throat> no, you have to mingle, okay? You're not going to cling to me like a remora all night. You know, that's, no, you're, uh, uh If you try it, I will shoo you away. Subtly, but I will shoo you away. <laughs> you, you're going to have to be able to talk to people independently. You have to be able to show that you can handle it. Well, where do you think you're going to go if you can't? You know, this is helping you as much as it's helping me. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm really just doing you a favor. So it seems to me that you're being a little ungrateful. I'm just saying you might want to work on your thank yous a little bit. You know, I appreciate what you're doing for me. Something like that. You know, anytime you want to say that, <clears throat> that'd be great. Don't, don't rush yourself. Don't strain yourself. <sighs> yes, I'm getting to number five. It's good that you remember what number we were on. Number five is really cool. Penelope. Yes, this mask is extremely cool. I know it is. This mask is the one I wanted. Okay, this is the one I went in there and picked out earlier, but I didn't commit to it. And then Penelope picks it. So I had to go with something else. But yes, it is very beautiful. It has rhinestones around the eyes and this beautiful pink and black velvet with the black trim and the pink flower. Oh my God, look at this. That's just, it's fabulous. This thing is fabulous. Look at it. I would look so good sashaying around in the party with this. <laughs> But no. Penelope took it. So I did like her before, but we don't like her anymore. So I don't care if you're nice to her or not. Um, well, the thing about Penelope, the only reason, the only reason she is even in this circle is because of her money. She has lots of money. She's an heiress to a timber fortune, which explains her tree trunk legs. <laughs> I don't care. We don't like her anymore anyway. Um, 
she's always wearing a bad wig so just expect that when you go in you you won't even need to look for this you just could look for the woman with the really hideous wig and i never know what it's going to be it looks like something she got at the dollar store um it's really bad so, but don't stare okay that's the hard part is your your eyes are going to be just drawn to it i mean even as uncultured as you are no offense even as unrefined as you are again no offense you're not going to be able to stop staring at it. I promise you. It is it is going to be that bad. It is always that bad. So um don't stare. And if you talk to her, you will find that she has this obsession and it's just going to sound weird. She has an obsession with taxidermied fish. I don't, I don't know, but she talks about it at great length. She has an encyclopedic knowledge of taxidermied fish. Um I guess if that interests you, which you look like somebody who would be interested in that, you know, maybe you could hang out with her. She also talks a lot about camping, although she's never been camping. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's really weird in a way, but okay, here we go. Penelope, up here in this general vicinity, you're going to see a really bad wig. It could be red. It could be brown. It could be any shade of gray it could even be purple she doesn't care so up in this area somewhere is going to be really bad hair and she's going to talk to you about fish and camping but you know she does have a lot of money so i mean if that's something that you might be interested in you know maybe you could uh talk to her a little more uh, personally i find her so boring and uh, i don't even know what the right word is just tiresome I just find her so tiresome, like, I don't even care anymore that she has money. It's like, I just, I, you don't have enough money for me to listen to you talk about fish all night. So I'm just going to go. But whatever. Who's this? Do you remember this is number, which number? Number five. See, there's a five under there. And that is Penelope. 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 A name of a what? A pig? Well, she kind of reminds me of a pig in a way. Well, if you ever see her eat, you'll find out why. Okay, we have two left. How are you doing? Are you holding up okay? You doing okay? Let's see your, let's see the smile. Mm. Now, see, you just look like you're going to cry. You're, gonna, you're not going to cry again, are you? Look, don't, because I'll have to redo this. Don't cry. Okay, we don't have time for you to cry anyway. <clears throat> You know what? No, I'm going to give you a little bit more, I think. Just hold still. It's all right. Do you remember? It's a tiny, tiny thing. You're going to look beautiful. You're going to look so nice. Well, I can use whatever word I want. I can say you're going to look beautiful. You don't know. Right? Go like this. Well, you, your upper lip is sweaty there. You have lip sweat. <clears throat> Never attractive. Okay. <sighs> Are you ready for the last two? I hope so. Okay. Number six. This is very exciting. All right. Here's number six. Now it's very similar to number five. Or number four. Sorry. Number six. Now this one is like the red one, but it's just black. It's also plastic, you see? Number six, and it has this nice ribbon that will be tied behind her lovely hair, so-called. Do you like that one? Yeah. So this is JC. No, JC. Not Jason. JC. J-A-Y-C-I-E. Yes, that's her real name. She's not an anime character. Okay. No, we do like JC, but she cannot keep secrets. So again... You're, yeah, you're just going to have to follow that, that rule of, you know, just don't say anything to anyone. Um, because she is a big blabbermouth. Like, she cannot keep a secret. Um, and everybody knows that. So everybody knows that if JC happens to walk up, if you see this mask coming up to your group, you know, zip it. You have to stifle because she is going to blab to everyone. Anything she hears you say, and her hearing is bad. So she's going to hear you say something and she's going to misinterpret it, 
and she'll get it twisted around in her little head and then she'll go tell everybody something that is completely false but they'll believe it because they know what a blabbermouth she is she's like a tape recorder only her tape is messed up yeah so you could be talking about going to the grocery store and then by the time she gets done telling everybody you know you got busted in a massage parlor with dope or something I mean that's how bad off the rails she goes with stories so don't talk around JC she's she's you do have a tendency to talk a lot especially when you're nervous you get loose lipped and it's gonna it's gonna hurt me now JC I could tell you another thing about JC JC is dating Penelope's husband yes I know it's complicated um, just just try to listen okay she is dating Penelope's husband Yet that's true. She is a blabbermouth, and you would think it would get all over town, and it did. Okay, Penelope knows, but Penelope doesn't care because she's dating her writing instructor. And trust me, we've made plenty of jokes about the writing instructor that, she, oh, I'm sure he is. <laughs> um, yeah, so she, it's like musical chairs, okay, but it's like musical husbands. Don't even worry about it. Now, one other thing I want to tell you about JC. Now, she will have on this mask, and it's going to cover half of her face, which is all well and good. But when you see her, do not stare at her mole. And I'm not going to have to tell you where it is. You will know it when you see it. Um, it's kind of shaped like Winston Church Churchill. It looks like Winston Churchill. You'll know it. Uh, don't stare because she's very self she's very self conscious about it. She tries to dab like concealer on it, you know, and uh, but it just doesn't work. It just ends up getting all weird on her and cakey. Just don't stare. Okay, she's she, bless her heart. She means well, but so blabbermouth J C. Who's she dating? Not Penelope. Penelope's husband. That's right. And Penelope doesn't care why, because she's dating her riding instructor. But see, you you need to know these things, but you need to not talk about them. It's important to kind of store all these things away in case it's ever useful later, but you can't talk about it. <laughs> okay? Great, now we're up to the last mask. Now this is the most important mask of the night. Fortunately, it's also one of the more elaborate masks. This one. Oh yeah, touch it. That the mask part is plastic. It looks like metal, but it's plastic. Yeah. Look at this elaborate glitter up here. Now, this is the mask I want you to keep an eye out for all night. All right. This. I'm. I'm gonna tell you if you listen. Are you listening? Oh my god. This is gonna be a disaster. Okay. This is number seven. This is our last mask. This mask belongs to Susanna. Oh, are we friends with Susanna? No, but we really want to be. <laughs> Susanna doesn't even know we exist at this point. Susanna is like the queen bee of this social circle, okay? She doesn't even know I'm alive. That's why when you see this mask, I need you to really turn on the charm. But don't turn it on full blast because your charm is just not something most people can handle okay your charm just crosses on over into obnoxious clown or something don't go too far with it like pull it back do like 80 percent charm because Susanna is very important okay if you want to be anybody in this town if you want to ever get invited to any other good parties you have got to get in good with Susanna and I cannot get in good with Susanna if you do not get in good with Susanna Right, she needs to see us together. She needs to see us looking confident and happy and comfortable. I want you to show me how show me your comfortable stance. Hmm. No, kind of you don't need to you're standing very stiff. Kind of relax your shoulders to like this. You don't have to slink down to the floor. It's alright, you're not Jessica Rabbit. Okay. Okay, that's that's better. Kind of just, there you go. Just kind of relax your shoulders a little bit there. I know it's hard to figure out what to do with your hands. Just, you'll be holding a drink in one, so at least that helps. That's one of the good things about my mask. Um, because it gives me something to do 
with my hand. Now, Susanna is a real fireball. Let me tell you, when Susanna walks in the room, everybody looks. She steals the scene in every room she enters. She is not going to be easy to miss. Okay? You're not going to miss her. But look at that. Okay, now, what are you going to say when you see, all right, pretend I'm Susanna. All right, you see me coming, right? Oh, hello, and she extends her hand. I'm Susanna. What's your name? Oh, your palm is sweaty. Okay, do not shake her hand, all right? You maybe gently take her fingers and do the little gentleman, gentlemanly thing. Do not kiss her fingers, though, because you have that lip thing. Um, keep a napkin or a, a you can, just keep a handkerchief in your pocket so you can kind of wipe your hands. You cannot wipe sweat on Susanna. Oh my God. So wipe your hand, wipe it. Now, so I'm Susanna and I'm walking up to you and I say, hello, what's your name? I'm Susanna. Okay, Melvin. No, I, you mean well, but just the way you say your name, it's like it's like you're apologizing. It's like you're sorry that your name is Melvin. That's what it sounds like. Can I hear a little more confidence? Can I hear some boldness in your voice? Okay, don't yell at me. Okay, I'm Susanna, right? Don't yell at Susanna because we will never see the inside of anyone else's house at any party ever if you do that. And you can forget the country club. You know how you wanted to play on the golf course out there? Never going to happen if you yell at her. Okay, this is the most important person at this party. Now, let me hear, let me, now, I want you to say your name like you're relaxed, but also confident, but not overconfident, not too soft, not too loud, not too bold, but not too weak either. So go. You know what? Maybe I should just introduce you. You know, maybe it would just be better if you just didn't say anything to her either. Because you're going to ruin it for us. Okay, and I'm, I'm never, I'm never going to get to go to the charity ball. Do you know how much I want to go to that? Okay. All right. Well, just remember, if you see her and I am not with you, come find me. Okay, before she makes it over to where you are, if at all possible, come and find me. All you need to do is look for this mask, right? So if we're not together... You look for me, I will be slinking around somewhere, laughing and being successful, okay? Just, you just have to have a little bit of self-confidence. We have a little bit of time to work on your walk before we go, and we also need to find some dental floss and a paper towel or something to keep in your pocket. All right, now we're going to gather up all the masks. Do you remember what we're going to do with them? We're not, we're not donating them to charity. Melvin, you're, it's like trying to teach a goldfish. No. We're going to put them in the guest room, okay? We're going to get there a teensy bit early. Not too early. I'm going to distract the guests with my effervescent personality. And then you are going to tuck all the masks under your your jacket there just a little extra just like that you know and then you're going to go down to remember where you go go down the hallway which guest room third guest room uh-huh and there's going to be a wicker basket in there at the foot of the bed i want you to put these in there and i also have your notes okay i have some notes here with the numbers on them. And these masks are all numbered. So if you get confused, which you probably will, that should be able to help you. And that way you can help me. And I think we can both agree that that's the most important thing. <laughs> all right. It's nothing to worry about. I think, I think you're going to do great, Melvin. It's, um, it's not easy. It's not easy sometimes dealing with you, but I think if we work together, we can really, we can really get somewhere. Yeah, despite your name, 
Yeah, okay. Well, let's go work on your walk. We're going to go up and down the hallway again until you get it right, okay? We're going to lose that Igor gait that you have before we go. All right, great. Okay, let's get started.